guys just general thoughts beating the number 15 team uh, I think it's seven in a row now five and zero start what are your thoughts on the, on the, this big win uh, it's just a great team win uh, we knew coming into this game that it, it was gonna take all of us to win this game and that's what that's what it took uh, offense defense special teams played great all, uh, all over around, uh, all around so yeah great team win um, excuse my voice <clears throat> I think for me, uh, I'm reading through all the articles throughout the whole week. People are saying that we're the worst 4-0 team out there. They're writing us off. Uh, so I, I think my boys came in here with a chip on their shoulder. Uh, I think I told you all on Monday, see if Washington can run with us, not the other way around. So that's my answer. That's my answer right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, for me, I think, you know, for us, it started with the defense. Defense gets going like they did in the first half. Offense feeds off it. Special teams feeds off it. Um, and when you, you know you can put a team in a hole like that early, um, you know you got a good shot to come out with it. Um, so I mean, yeah, you're stacking it. Defense started it. Offense finished it. Uh, but like Blake said, good team win. Last week you guys talked about uh, starting off strong, and it seemed like you did that. You know, aside from you know the first uh, drives, um, you know how important was it to you know come out and just you know be assertive. Uh, huge, uh, but shout out to the fans that came that came today. Uh, they made a huge impact on the game today. Uh, them being loud, them, them catching them <coughs> off guard, uh, got a few penalties because of them. So yeah, it's huge. Uh, like you said, we had a few, we had a uh, first drive was bad starts, but uh, then don't break. We didn't break, we didn't fold. Uh, that's what I love about this team. Strong and love to fight. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think I think offensively, uh, the message was taken one play at a time. And I think we did that, just executing each play as it is, uh, not thinking too far ahead, not thinking about the touchdowns and what we need to get, just thinking about the play at hand and where Coach Kelly's calling. Uh, I think Coach Kelly and the offensive staff called a great game plan, uh, as well as on the defensive side, preparing for their offense. Uh, and I think we went out there and executed really well. So I'm proud of my guys for that, for sure. Brian, you um, three touchdown passes, one running. You were hurdling, you were sidestepping, you were high-stepping. Uh, what did that feel like out there? Do you feel like you did change perceptions out there tonight? Um, I, I could care less about perceptions. Um, I care about these boys in the locker room and seeing the smiles on their faces. Uh, the flash plays are cool and all, but I, I think I, I want them to run off the field. I want all those Washington Huskies over there to run off that field at the end of the game. So I don't, I don't want them playing no more. That's how I play. That's how my team plays. We're going to keep going until the whistles roll over. Can you go through the um, the sidestep where you, what you saw there and the move you made, and if you'd ever done anything like that before? <laughs> yeah, I got you, Ben. Um, I, I actually think it was the wrong read on that play. I'm reading to the end. Um, he was obviously slower than me, so I thought I could beat him outside. Um, but I should have gave the ball to Zach. Uh, but again, as you said, I'm, I'm going outside. I make, I make my read. Uh, I see the corner out the corner of my eye crashing down. Uh, so I knew I had free space out there. Uh, just timed it up really well, sidestepped and, and scored. So, um, but all in all, just trying to get in the end zone. Though. We, we got to keep the chains moving and keep the and keep the drives going. So um, I think just adding on points, put pressure on their offense and their defense. So. Torian, you, you've been here for a few years now, and you probably have had better games statistically. But just from from our perspective, I think a lot of things look easy for you tonight. Does it kind of feel like the culmination of, of everything you kind of work for um, here, and, and did that game feel especially rewarding in that way? Yeah, for sure. Um, besides watching all the film on them and studying them, uh, the biggest game I watched was when we played them my freshman year here. Um, seeing that kid, seeing guys like Blay and, and some of the younger receivers that we had, uh, seeing how we played against them, and then now bringing it to, to today um, and making sure that that doesn't happen again. So. Uh, I think, yeah, a lot of nostalgia for sure. Um, but again, I'm glad to get the win at the end of the day, so. You guys, 5-0 now, just deserve to get ranked? I believe so, but uh, we'll leave that up to them. I was gonna say, yeah, we'll let y'all decide that one. And, and also for you guys, is, is this guy getting more, more horse by the week? Sounds <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get more horse by the game. I was letting like, them boys here. So. Just getting back by Saturday. Exactly. A lot of hot tea.
J uh, Jake and uh, Blay, what was your view of Dorian's uh, like step back move in the end of the <laughs> You were both chuckling before. So. Oh no, uh, I didn't. I didn't see it actually. So when I seen the replay, it was just uh, ooh, <laughs> like, excuse me. Uh, yeah. So seeing that and then the hurdle, like, yeah, it just had us turn as a defense, uh, gave us more energy. So yeah, it was yeah, great plays by this guy. Yeah, that was that was cool. Well, I was on the sideline. That was uh, yeah, that was a cool moment. That's all I said. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, Dorian, um, how important do you think it is for you guys offensively to not only be able to go out and you know score the forty points like you did, but to be able to you know to close out the game uh, there when you guys had the ball for pretty much like the last four minutes? Yeah, for sure. I want to touch light on my offensive line. Uh, the boys played their asses off today, whether it was making calls, adjusting to their fronts, their pressures, um, especially towards the end. Uh, they send the nickel pressure off that last play. Uh, John picks it up real well. Huddy runs a great route. Uh, so all in all, just a great offensive game plan and, and great execution all around. So uh, it wasn't just me, it was everybody involved. So. <clears throat> Jake and Dorian, when the defense is rolling like that, how much does the offense kind of feed off that energy? A lot, um, you know, that's my five years. Uh, what I've kind of learned is, you know, both sides of the ball feed off each other. Um, so, you know, when the offense sees an opportunity like we had tonight when the defense was rolling and, and getting those guys off the field, um, you know, it juices you up a little bit for sure. Um, then also, uh, you know, definitely a motivator, uh, motivational factor without a doubt. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like blood in the water. Uh, you know, you, you hear all week that it's going to be a shootout, it's going to be this, it's their offense is this and that, and their quarterback is this and that. Um, so when our defense is out there rolling and, and shutting them down, it juices us up. Uh, we smell blood in the water, and we know we can go out there and attack them full go. So, Jake, speaking about their quarterback being this and that, do you think your quarterback is this and that? Yeah, I do. It's hard for me to say that in front of him right now. <laughs> but yes, I do think our quarterback is this and that. What have you learned about him? Obviously, you're, this is your first time playing with him. Blay has been seeing him for years now. Uh, what have you learned about Dorian seeing him in the game now? Um, I think I think it was in the third quarter um, when when they swatted a ball up in the air, um, and, and one of their interior defensive linemen was about to come come down with it, and he just put his helmet right in that dude's stomach. Um, I think that tells you all you need to know about this dude. Um, you know, <laughs> we feed off of him. We go as far as he goes, um, and I've learned that you know, one tough dude. Uh, we're gonna keep following his ass, his butt. Excuse me. Dorian, <laughs> you said you were pretty turned uh, uh, after this game. Uh, there was a play where you uh, pitched it to Zach and led the block and uh, kind of laid your shoulder out. Um, what about this game had you so hyped, and, and why were you sort of, you know, playing it the way that you played it today? I love to compete. I love to compete. If y'all, if, if we gotta beat the best to play the best or play the best to be the best, um, and y'all say Washington is up there, then damn right I'm gonna go full go and I'm gonna get my all. So um, I think that's just about being a football player. It has nothing to do with being a quarterback or anything like that. It's just about being a full on competitor. Um, I love to compete, whether it's Uno or football or, <laughs> or anything. So yeah, uh, you know, four I would say winnable games uh, the first four weeks, and there were times when Coach pulled you out maybe a little early, Coach. I don't know, was he playing the entire playbook? Did you feel like uh, you guys had run everything the first four weeks, or were you guys holding some stuff back for a, guy, a game like Washington, USC, you know, Utah, things that you have coming up? Uh, you know, Coach Kelly's always got something up his sleeve. Uh, we're always, you know, adding in new stuff every, every week. But, um, you know, I think, I think we've been running the same plays. Uh, obviously, we're going to mix them up a little bit here and there, but at the end of the day, it's, it's us versus you guys, see if you guys compete with us. So. Uh, this was your best game statistically as a Bruin. What did you see out there? How does it just feel getting that big win? Your first really big win, a big a big game and a big win uh, for yeah. the Bruins. Um, like you said, big win. You know, that's what first comes to mind when you're walking off the field. Um, obviously, I was glad to, to contribute. Um, but like Dorian said, uh, Coach Kelly will scheme those guys up, and that's what he did this week. Um, you know, I was telling some guys on the sideline all I had to do tonight was really be in the right spot. Um, you know, made some plays, I guess you could say, after the catch. Uh, but the way, you know, we scheme these guys and game plan these guys uh, was cool. And again, you know, I was just thankful to be there and be able to contribute. And uh, Dorian, you've talked about it 
a little bit, but how much does this outside noise just fuel your fire and your, your competitiveness? I love it. <clears throat> I love it. Um, you know, I, I don't stay on social media 24-7 or all day, every day, like maybe most people think. Um, but I do read it. I do read it. I get notifications just like everybody else does. Um, and if you think, you know, words don't hurt, they do. They do. And I always remember, even if I don't say nothing. And so we got a lot of things ahead of us. And right now we're focused on Utah. So right, we'll finish up here with that. Jake, you uh, obviously transferred in here. How much of it was playing with Dorian and, and uh, how much research did you do about like what that was going to be like and, and how is it kind of matched what you thought it was going to be? Yeah, um, that was all of it, him and, and Sharps, 24. Um, I wanted to play with those guys. That's why I came here. Um, obviously, we had some, you know, we had some guys coming back up front. Um, but like you guys saw tonight, you know, <laughs> probably made the right decision in following this guy and following 24 um, out here to LA. So I'm definitely glad I did. But yeah, these two played a played a big role. Play too. <laughs> Play too. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.